Hello everybody, how's it going? This is Matt DiGiamonte right here. Thanks ever so much for tuning in. Welcome back to Airport City. Uh, we're continuing to build up our little city over here. Well, it's more like a town at this point in time, but uh, we're continuing to build up. Uh, as you can see, there are a few changes over here. Uh, I will explain these changes, but also we have lots to do. Uh, so none of the, this is not permanent. We're gonna we're gonna mess around with this in a minute because uh, we are um, we're gonna buy some stuff. Uh, as you can see, the cash, uh, uh, the coins, and the cash have both gone up here because I've been playing uh, playing along. I've been saving up some money. I got uh, the Friday bonus. Actually, gave me five airport cash, which is really nice. Um, I also got a gift bonus, which also gave me another airport cash. So uh, I've got this week six airport cash from the uh, the bonuses, which is great. Um, You'll notice I've sent my planes out and stuff like that, the collections, uh, just to speed things along here because basically uh, we're going to be opening up the town hall and we're going to be doing some expanding. So I'd rather focus on that as opposed to just sitting here doing all the collections and things like that. Also completed lots of the collectibles as well. We've got loads of money banked in those collectibles. I've got absolutely loads booked up. So this one here I can complete four times. Um, so we'll collect those in a bit. First things first though, uh, we're going to take advantage of the fact that we can afford an expansion using coins and we're also then going to take advantage of the fact that we have an expansion sale on so we're going to spend a little bit of this airport cash as well uh, to expand our area here so the original plan was to expand to the top here um, i'm not actually going to do that anymore i've changed uh, changed what i want to do here but uh, all will be revealed in just a second first things first though we're going to go ahead and open up our town hall which gives us a massive boost to population uh, which is fantastic. Let's go ahead and complete the relevant mission as well uh, Which is great uh, Bring a lucky stone from Turkey. Of course. Yes looking to do that. Uh, this is the plane that's flown from Turkey. So Somewhat hoping no, I was somewhat hoping we could get something out of that there, but um, No is the answer uh, so, um, I was going to mention something else first before we can proceed. Oh yes, uh, I'm currently recording on Sunday, this is going up on Sunday. Uh, so our progress for the Airline Alliance mission for the week is quite good. Uh, done the 17 flights to Pattaya uh, on this particular area here. I've done a few to Antalya just to sort of get flights towards the stars, but I'm not actually going to be able to get 100 flights. I've not tried either, so i um, not really going to get anywhere with that, because also uh, we have completed two flights over here, um, so we're going to get the 30% once again. We're going to get the four alliance reputation points, and we're going to get the 30% experience for a week once again, which is really, really nice. I was maybe hoping that Reese might be able to complete a couple of these, because he was, was in reach at one point. I think his attention has gone elsewhere, though, because there's other things in the game. There's, there's currently... Um, for people who are using the mobile version, there's currently an event on, which is probably why uh, that has happened. Anyway, uh, I suppose I could land a couple of guest planes here and just cycle through a couple of these bad boys whilst we're, whilst we're doing this. Um, and subsequently pick up some passengers. Yeah, let's just do this. Okay, so first things first then, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to purchase an expansion with coins. Uh, so it's going to be this one here, and I'm going to purchase this expansion, and subsequently I'm also going to go ahead and purchase this one with some airport cash. Okay, right, so what is the plan here? Well, basically I'm going to go down a little bit more of a slightly functional route, where I'm actually going to spread out uh, sort of in a very horizontal manner. So I'd like to keep this central square area if possible. Um, but ultimately what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread out a little bit and I'm going to sort of go with some straighter roads. So um, if we grab this tool here, we can pick up the roads. So what I do want to do is I first want to delete that. Um, so I want to do that and then I'm actually going to pick up um, some of these side... Actually, I might just keep these side wings just in a little block like that. I think that's fine. Um, and then what we're going to do is I'm just going to draw the road all the way down here and we're just going to build some stuff in, in this area here. So I was thinking maybe uh, just double checking. Uh, so if I were to build two buildings there, so in which case what I will do is I will pick up the lakes and I'll put those down the middle here like this. So then they can provide passenger bonuses to the two properties that are going to be on this side. So um, imagine maybe it's going to be mansions or something like that. Um, I would very much like it to be smart house or maybe a couple of houses with a pool. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. 
And then we're going to do the same down here, pretty much. Um, we're just going to do the same like this. So now we've got l rows, essentially, of properties that we can use. So we could do two residential rows, and then maybe we could do a commercial row over this way. Um, so what I would like to do, in fact, is... Um, so this tree is just sort of sat here at the moment. I'm just sort of trying to move this around. Um, where we've got the commercial stuff at the top there, I was thinking maybe we could move some stuff around. And we could say, let's put the commercial stuff over here. So we can build two more shops in there, we can build two more shops here, and we can have a bit of a commercial district going on in this section. That was what I was thinking. The alternative would be that uh, we also move this stuff over, and uh, I was going to possibly rejig this area over here. So um, we've got some commercial, we do some more commercial stuff, and maybe we ditch this central square idea and do something else instead. Um, as for what, not entirely sure. So... What we could do, if we're going down the horizontal route, then what we could do is uh, I'm going to pick that up, I'm going to rotate that around, and I'm also going to rotate that one. So I think I will keep this road here to a certain degree, although I might instead build it there. So if I just delete these roads here for now. So I might instead build it there, uh, and then we can do this like that because then what we can do is we can then move these guys into here like this now the only downside to doing this is we lose the bonuses from these um lose the bonuses from these little parks and plaza things that we've got going here so that's the only downside to doing it that way The flip side to it is we'd be able to create another area up there. So what I would then like to do then is I would also like to... So it goes up to seven airport cash once you get to um, two expansions. I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to purchase these two. And we're going to mess around with it even more. So uh, what I was actually hoping was... Um, one, two, three... So I was hoping to create... No this yes okay this is what I want to do so I was going to create something like that and what we could do is we could actually have a layer of um, trees and things like that that run up this way so if I temporarily move that um, so we could have a layer of trees that run up down the middle here we've always got the uh, the angel square here so let's go ahead and put that in the middle so then that will cover all four of those properties and then i'll move this tree over here as well so we've got some properties that therefore get some bonuses over this way and uh, we we still maintain this area as an area that we can use for bonus passengers and whatnot so we can do this and then what we can do is we can have a layer over this way of buildings that are same size as the town hall for example so uh, we can do a one two three building in there uh, so if I run the road uh, along here like that, so one, two, three, so then we require a road along the back. So a building that's three by three, there are buildings of that size uh, that exist. Um, and then what we can do is we can then delete this. So we can run that along there like that, and maybe we could have a few more buildings of the same size. The alternative being that we instead just run the road along the back like that, and then we create another area where we can build some residential properties. Um, so we could either, uh, what we could do actually, is uh, actually what I would like to do, is one something like this so what we could do in here in this particular section actually it would make sense if I did these ones as well um, the only problem with that is one two three yeah okay so we could build something in there one two one two one two okay yeah that's fine just sort of trying to figure this out what we could do in this bit here is uh, we could build our tourist buildings uh, so the guest houses because they're same size as the side wing we could just build six of them along here up in that area over there when it comes to doing the helicopters so I think that'd be a great idea and then we've got places for four more buildings here. So um, we could build residential here. We could build commercial. Not entirely sure. It depends on our needs, really. 
Um, I was actually thinking we could build, because uh, we've got the cash so, and we've got the population room. We do need a bit more power, that's true. Um, so we are going to need some extra bits here, but there's plenty of things that we could invest in. So we do need to build some of this stuff at some point anyway. Um, so we do need to build some manors so we could maybe go with... Um, so we've got the manor here, so we need to build one of these anyway. So i tell you what. We could build two manors in there. Yep, I think that would be a great idea. Let's build two manors in there. Uh, and we'll obviously run a road uh, along the back there. Unless we get any decorations and whatnot, we can maybe use that to build some decorations. So we'll go with two manors. This is going to be the touristy area. We'll have a 3x3 three three building over here. Um... Two, sorry, so maybe two houses with a pool. So two houses with a pool, two mansions, the smart house. How I don't know how close we are to actually completing the smart house there. Um, so that could be a great idea. So we're expanding on the passengers here. So if I go house with a pool, let's put another one of those in there. So then we've got two of those, 18 every hour. That's not too bad. Okay. We'll reserve that for another smart house got the two mansions that's fine the little side wings we'll build two other buildings in here so what other shops do we want to go for um so let's go into the shops what could we build car dealership research lab sports shop unique gifts bowling alley okay uh a lot of these actually uh yield coins quite a lot over a longer period of time. I feel like the movie theater is actually uh, a great one to go over here. Let's build that. 420 coins every day. I think that's a great shout. Uh, building that. Uh, let's get um, let's get another grocery store back in there. There we go. And then we got some space to build two more over this way. Although we are running out of population room, so. Yeah, so the car dealership takes 16. Research lab. That doesn't actually take uh, population room, so we could potentially build that. Uh, 5,000 coins, 24. Yeah, the research lab. Uh, let's go for the research lab then. Uh, we'll put that in uh, down here. That's going to eat most of our coins, but that's okay. So we'll take that, and that basically uh, is that for building at this current point in time. But it is a massive expansion on what we've already done. Um, and it subsequently allows us to build a bit more. So yeah, I'm expanding it a little bit further. It's made the town a little bit more functional, won't lie. Um, but it actually means that we can cram quite a bit in here. So we could definitely build two more buildings over here. Um, we can build another shop in there. We can build some residential. Um, and so the idea is that we ensure that we have enough passenger capacity to be able to switch into the uh, owl planes that we want to switch into because we want to uh, ditch these two um these two what are they called swifts that's it we want to ditch those two and we want to go into three owl planes that's the idea and so in order to be able to do that we of course need to have the relevant passengers to be able to support it so we've got some bonuses here and what we can also do is as we complete some of these collections, uh, some of these collections and guest plane drops and things like that yield uh, free buildings after a while. So like the smart house, for example. But there's also collections that you can complete uh, that um, from flights that will give you buildings. We can chuck those in. And some of them actually provide bonuses to surrounding buildings. So, um, for instance, if we get a building that provides bonuses to commercial, um, we could just ditch one of these grocery stores, chuck it in there, and all of these five buildings will get a bonus. Um, which is fantastic. That's absolutely brilliant. We could also ditch sort of sections of road. We could always include bits of road in here. We could change this up if we wanted to. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do is temporarily, just to provide a passenger bonus, I'm just going to move these guys over here. Because at the moment they're being wasted, but at the very least, if we move them here, they at least provide a small bonus to these side wings that are currently in position here. We could, of course, you know, ram in two more parks and things like that. We could change that up to get more of a bonus there. But... Because we're building so many more passenger buildings now, we don't really need to do that. We could very easily just put these two in here and maybe build uh, a couple of other buildings. So, for instance, we need to build the country house. So maybe we could build a country house here. 
something like that. Um, we can figure it out as we go along. Okay, fab. So uh, let's just cut these guest planes. We've still got plenty to do here. So what I would like to do next, um, I would actually like to buy uh, a second owl plane. That is what I would like to do, especially as we're rolling into a new week here as well. So uh, if I buy a second owl plane, we might be able to get missions. Um, so for the um, alliance mission, we might actually be able to pick up um, uh, like three owl planes and then we can get missions for the owl planes, which would be really, really good. Um, I'd like to be able to buy two, actually. That would be perfect. Uh, I don't think I quite have enough in the collections to be able to pull that off, because I would need 4,000 coins to do that. Uh, it may be possible, uh, but I'll tell you what. What we're going to do is in the next episode, um, we're going to do the collectibles. We're going to open up some of the chests and things like that. Uh, I might have a little look and see, because I was originally going to do the helicopters and stuff over here, but actually what I've decided is I wanted to do the mission control center and the launch pad. Uh, I wanted to do the spacey stuff, and then um, we could expand further on, because we've still got this airport cash here, so when the next uh, expansion sale comes in, um, we could potentially invest in that. Um, we could maybe invest in a couple of expansions here to build some better power plants, and then subsequently... Uh, we could then build some of the helicopter stuff, uh, which I really, really do want to get into. But I think I want to do the space stuff first, just because it's more interesting. And also, uh, we can combine the space stuff with neighbors and make absolutely loads of money, which we could then invest into the helicopters once we've done that. I think that's what I want to do. So that's it for now, then. So cheers for watching, guys. This has been myself, Matty Tomato. Be sure to subscribe to follow the series and join me next time for more Airport City here and, uh, well, our expanded gameplay now on the desktop app. See you later.